What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School of Marine and we're still out here today. We just got done putting our uh, morning buoy up over there, but we're gonna head out now. When we originally raised this platform up, we had a basketball goal uh, pole and a goal and everything attached to it. And so it actually come loose whenever we was lifting the platform up. So we're gonna head out here, try to find that basketball goal back because we got a really neat place we're gonna be putting it. And with the basketball goal, guys, if you're ever out there in the water and you're sinking one of these things, get you a bowling ball to shoot hoops with when you're underwater because underwater they weigh absolutely nothing so it kind of works like an underwater basketball we're going to head out here we're going to hopefully find our basketball goal put a lift bag on it raise it up now temporarily we're just going to put it up here since duke power still has the water down but then once we've got a place that we can get prepped we're going to put it out there and let some of our new students go out there and shoot hoops so come along with us and see how good we do Right there. Right here. Got lighter. I tell my BC and my student. <laughs> I was underneath it like this. I popped it and it started going. <laughs> Alright, guys. That wasn't too bad. Swim right down on it. We found it. I was able to bring it up. But I want to apologize to you guys because as soon as I got in the water, I was cleaning out the filter on my camera. And miraculously, these cameras have these little shutter buttons right there. And if you don't hit the shutter button, guess what? Your camera don't record. So I have absolutely no underwater footage for you guys. But as you can see, we found the basketball goal. We have the uh, lift bag to the bottom. And I wanna show you something real quick, what I was talking about earlier. Oddly enough, thanks to Archimedes principle, this is what we use for a basketball underwater. Just a bowling ball. This is probably a uh, probably a 10 pounder, but underwater it weighs absolutely nothing. So once we get this guy set up, I have a little bag connected to the back of the backboard. We just put this on it, and when our students go out there after finishing all skills, we let them sit there and shoot hoops with the bowling ball but guys i'm sorry once again that i just ain't got any underwater footage evidently if you don't hit that shutter button on your camera it don't start working so but uh we're gonna get this up on land and rest for a day or two i've actually i'm going out of town tomorrow i'm going to dive the pump house down in lake kiwi it's a three-story structure and about 80 foot of deep so i've got several divers going down to do that with me but uh i'll have a video definitely for you guys on that but We've got a good idea where we're gonna put this guy. We've just gotta get it floated out there, sunk and then run ropes to it. But of course, hopefully you guys can come along with me on that dive as well. But really appreciate you watching what short video this is. If you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always guys, we appreciate your business.
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.